Uh oh. If the idea of being softly massaged by two muscular sheep doesn't do it for you, sure, skip your life. Okay, quiet. We got away from the monkey. All right, now we can start. Merry Game Dungeon. Welcome to the Christmas episode for Puzzle Agent. Now, unlike Still Life, this isn't technically a Christmas game, but it may as well be. We have snow everywhere, Santa, it's helpers, reindeer. So yeah, it doesn't get much more Christmas than this. So we start the game and you play as Nelson Tethers, and you're an agent working in the FBI's puzzle division. Now, I don't know if the FBI actually has a puzzle division. That seems more like something the NSA or CIA would have. But we all know agencies have their rivalries, so I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, see? So you start your day solving puzzles when you get a call from your superior sending you out into the field. A Minnesota factory responsible for manufacturing erasers for the White House has been shut down, and they want you to investigate. This is a surprise for Nelson because he has a desk job and isn't much of a field agent. I like this a lot because this actually isn't that far off. Hey, any of you out there want to join the FBI? Guess what the number one most desirable background you can have is? What do you think? Military special forces? Police forensics? Psychology? Drug investigations? Nope, accounting. Most of what the FBI does is white collar crime. So somebody who can crack puzzles all day might be a good recruit, especially financial puzzles. Okay, moving on, we head to Minnesota and I really like this opening music theme. This game actually has three composers. The music is mostly great, it has this mysterious vibe to it that fits well. There's still not enough of it because you spend so much time on puzzles, it's going to repeat way too much. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is a puzzle game. It's actually really easy to figure out if you're going to like playing this game or not. First question, do you like puzzles? And yeah, that's pretty much it. Although even if you don't, you may still want to watch a playthrough of it because this game has a quality story. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. There's some real clear influences. Do you like the movie Fargo, the show Wallace and Gromit, and some Twin Peaks and X-Files thrown in there? If you don't like any of those, then yeah, you won't like this game at all. You don't like Wallace and Gromit? So this game is all about puzzles. It plays sort of like a graphic adventure game, except it cuts out everything extra. So it's nothing but narrative and puzzles. I have to say, overall, it's pretty nice. After playing so many graphic adventure games that just don't care if you progress more than 2% of the game, this is a little like coming in out of the rain. I do think traditional point and click adventures give more of a sense of exploration and interactivity, but it's a fair trade giving that up to not have total nonsense. I like puzzles, but I don't like knowing what I should even be doing to be the puzzle. I think for me, my ideal graphic adventure game would be something in between this versus traditional. Now, it's, it's worth, worth noting that Puzzle Agent has ripped, has ripped its gameplay style directly from Professor Layton and the Curious Village. Village. I've read some people really look down on it because of that, but for me, it's not an issue. I think the main thing is, is the game fun, and are you getting a new experience? I mean, most real-time strategy games are basically refinements of Doom 2. And I don't know how many first-person shooters have similar gameplay. So a game doesn't have to have original gameplay to be good. It just needs to stand on something. Well, Puzzle Agent does that. The puzzles are good, but the rest of it is just amazing. This game resonates with me. Like, you know how theoretically, if you're exposed to a powerful enough resonant frequency, your head will explode? Well, that's not really what I'm talking about. I mean, this game just captivated me on every